Hey everyone, Jake Sloan back with another video about my Darth Vader helmet cooling fan system. I get a lot of questions about that and so I thought I would do a video to show you all what I do. A lot of these uh, ideas are not original to me. There are other makers that came up with the idea of like putting fans above the forehead and stuff like that. I just took that and ran with it. Um, so this is my one of my helmets. This is uh, my JMC helmet which is fantastic. And um, I have three fans in all of the helmets that I have, one uh, above each eye and one in the mouth. These two suck air in and this one blows air out. I set it up that way because I want to get the hot air from my breath as out of the helmet as fast as possible. And having this blow in, which a lot of people do, while it gives you a nice breeze over your face, it also blows air over a microphone if you have one by your mouth which gives you more noise in your microphone and your voice changer setup. So if you have one of these and it's blowing in, consider flipping it around and try it out and see how that helps you out. Might clean up your sound a little bit. Um, might help you out a bit. So I've got uh, the fan there, wire runs up, two fans up here. These wires run up and connect. Actually, I'm gonna clean this wiring up a little bit. And then it runs over here to this little control module, which has a totally on off but also a speed control for 12 volt system and then i have a voltage meter here with a push button switch a tactile switch that i can check the voltage when i'm taking the fan or the the helmet on or off i can see make sure i've got enough voltage to last to the next troop the fans i use are super super quiet um and everything is linked in the description of this video if you're interested in making your own system but so if we go like this, you can see 12.2 volts. And I'm gonna put this right up by the microphone so you can hear how quiet these fans are. I basically just stuffed the microphone in the helmet there for a second. Um, they're super, super quiet and they're super efficient. And I love them. They're great. And what I use are these little Sunan 12 volt fans. Now, if you're not interested in um, cutting holes in your helmet up here, which I totally understand, it can be totally really nerve wracking. These blower fans, which are also linked in the description, are five volts, so you could run them off a USB power pack, which are easily available. And you could stick them here or here like this, and they will blow a lot of air, and they're also very, very quiet. So they would give you a lot of airflow inside your helmet, keep your lenses from getting fogged up while you wouldn't have to cut anything in your helmet. Um, they also make a five volt version of this, which is the super quiet, which I would uh, put in your mouth. If you're not gonna do anything but one fan, put a fan in your mouth and have it blow air in or suck air out. It will, it'll make a big difference on how comfortable you are for a troop. A lot of people think too, because of the way this helmet is designed, that when you put the hard hat liner in, which is what I use, it would block the airflow from these two fans. And I haven't found that it does that. Mostly what it does is some of the air from these fans goes over the top of my head, but most of it gets directed down because the front band sits right in here like this. So most of the air gets directed down right over the eyes. And then of course that is pulling air out. Um, if you don't have a fan system in your helmet now and you put one in, you will be amazed at how much more comfortable you are. Uh, this fan system has, it's so comfortable and it's so quiet. I don't have a problem hearing people talking to me from outside the helmet unless they're talking super quiet, which at that point, it doesn't matter anyway. You can't hear them even if they're trying. So, um, it's a great setup. Everything's linked in the description below. If you've got some basic soldering skills, it'll work fantastic. This little control board is a really simple little control board, but it uh, has a complete on off as well as speed control. It works well for 12 volt systems. It doesn't seem to work as well for five volt systems, but it does work. Um, but the nice thing about this is it doesn't burn off the extra energy as heat. It's a pulse width modulator controller, which basically means instead of turning down the voltage to the fan, it just sends out pulses of power. So the fan speed slows, but it's still getting full power, which is better for the fans. It's better for everything. And you don't lose a bunch of uh, power as from heat buildup. And you also don't have to have a big heat sink or anything like that. Great little piece of uh, equipment there. This battery pack that I use is a 12 volt battery pack. But like I said, if you use a five volt 
fan system. You could use USB packs, which are great and easily available. They're lightweight. Um, I use 12 volt because everything I run in my suit is 12 volt, and that way I have redundancy. If I need to pull a battery from one spot of the part of the suit to use it on another, I can. Uh, this will last about 15 and a half hours running three of these fans by themselves. So there's lots and lots of voltage here, and it will, or lots and lots of power here, and it'll last for a long, long time on a troop. And then I get a little red LED. I use red because it, um, it's the dimmest of all the colors, and it's the one that will affect your pupils the least when you turn it on and off. So if you, I, I had them mounted in the cheek so I could see it without taking the helmet off. And if I turn it on and off in there, um, it doesn't show through the eyes as much, and it's also a little easier on my eyes so you don't go blind from a blindingly bright blue LED in your helmet or something like that. So I hope that helps you. If it has helped you, like the video, share it if you've got friends that would benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks like this one, as well as trooping videos from me and my friends up here at Alaska, doing all of our antics and fun stuff as we go out and spread the love of Star Wars as part of the 501st Legion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon on the next video.